This is a comparison of conventional cataract surgery when we're left with a hemineucleus in relation to the Shasha sequence here. So when we traditionally have a hemineucleus, um, what we'll do is we'll use the chopper to push on the hemineucleus. That way the hemineucleus rotates slowly all the way around. That way the hemineucleus is directly facing the phaco tip. Um, this obviously takes more time. Sometimes you can't actually rotate the hemineucleus um, and you have to try the other way and try rotating the other way. So it can um, consume some time. It can sometimes stress the zonules as you're pushing across. Um, and so with the alternative technique, you don't need to do any rotation. The hemineucleus is right next to the phaco tip. What's the point of rotating it all the way around? Actually, when you rotate all the way around, the distance from the phaco tip to the endonucleus actually farther. Here, it's actually right next to it, so you may as well use make use of this advantage. And so, what I've what I'm what I've illustra illustrated in previous videos is basically just to use the chopper. You don't need to rotate the hemineucleus; just um, go under the endonucleus, dissect it from the epinucleus, flip it, and then um, using the two instruments, the chopper underneath the endonucleus, the phaco tip above the endonucleus, essentially bring the two instruments together, again on, again on position one, and this will fracture the uh, hemineucleus, again entirely on position one. Um, and this works on all density cataracts. So this is more or less like a shortcut, um, or it eliminates the step of needing to rotate. Uh, and again, it works on non-rotating hemineuclei. Often when there's a non-rotating hemineucleus, then often there's adhesions between the endonucleus and the epinucleus, or there may even be um, uh, weak zonules in that, in, in that region. And so in this case here, you're mechanically dissecting um, and staying on position one. And so as I've mentioned before, that'll tent the posterior capsule. So all in all, um, this technique, uh, when done properly, is much, much quicker than this technique where you're constantly having to rotate uh, the endonucleus. I hope you found this uh, comparative illustration to be useful.